Professor Yemi Osibanjo denies having plans to contest the 2023 presidential elections in Nigeria as PDP governors hold meeting on state of the nation in Ibadan. Plus, ANEC headquarters in Enugu burst down by hoodlums. Hi guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you, depending on your location. This is DJM Daily News Update, where you get latest news updates all around the world. Now let's go to the main news. The Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, has said that he has not declared his interest to contest in the 2023 presidential race. Speaking through his spokesperson, Mr. Laulu Akonde, in a statement today in Abuja, Professor Osibanjo disclosed that the permutation linking him to the 2023 polls is not real, as the office of the vice president has no connection with an online attempt to gather support for him. In the words of the vice president spokesman, the attention of the office of the vice president has been drawn to a website supportocbanjo.ng that is calling on Nigerians to join a volunteer group mobilizing support for Professor Yemi Osibanjo ahead of the 2023 presidential elections. The office of the vice president is not in any way connected to the website or the group behind it and considers such an enterprise as an unnecessary distraction. The vice president has not declared any interest whatsoever in the 2023 presidential election but is rather focused on working in his capacity as the vice president in the present administration to address all the compelling issues in the country and concerns of Nigerians, including finding effective and lasting solutions to the security challenges by dividing the country. Therefore, we ask that the people or group behind such unhelpful permutations should desist from it while we all deal together with the challenges confronting us as Nigerians and resolve them for the benefit of our people, peace and prosperity in the nation. A website has been reportedly opened with the solicitation of the group presently going viral on WhatsApp and other social media platforms suggesting that Professor Yemi Osibanjo has secretly declared his intention to run for the 2023 presidential elections. Recall that Professor Yemi Osibanjo was the running mate of President Muhammadu Buhari in the 2015 and 2019 presidential elections in the country. Before then, he had served as the Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice in the administration of the former Governor of Lagos State, Senator Bola Tinubu, between 1999 and 2007. Asiwaju Bola Tinubu is believed to be a strong ally of Professor Yemi Osibanjo. However, there are strong indications that Senator Bola Tinubu has interest for the 2023 presidential polls, but is yet to confirm it. The statement further added that the vice president is focused on working with the present administration to ensure that things go well for the country and Nigerians at large. Meanwhile, the governors of the 13 People's Democratic Party, PDP controlled state, had had a meeting today at the International Conference Center of the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, Ibadan, or your state. According to our correspondent, who was at the venue of the meeting, the 13 governors are Governors Aminu Tambua of Sokoto State, Samuel Atim of Benue State, Dwoye Diri of Bayesa State, Okeze Ikbiazu of Abia State, Emmanuel Udam of Akwaibom State, Ifanyi Okowa of Delta State, Ifanyi Ugwanyi of Enugu State, Uma Fintiri of Adamawa State, Bala Mohamed of Bauchi State, Nyesom Wike of River State, Godwin Obaseki of Edo State, the host governor, Sheyi Makinde, and the Sanfara State Governor, Belo Matawale, who was represented by his deputy, Aliu Gusau. It was also learned that Governors Darius Ishiaku of Taraba State and Ben Ayade of Kosiva State were being expected to join the meeting as it progressed. Our political correspondent on ground reports that as soon as the governors arrived, the International Conference Center venue of the meeting, 
At about 10 minutes past 1 in the afternoon in a coaster bus, they went into a closed door session. Meanwhile, snippets from the meeting shows that the People's Democratic Party PDP governors are gathered to discuss and brainstorm on the security challenges currently rocking the nation as well as the economic angle of it. The meeting is being presided over by the chairman of the People's Democratic Party's Governors Forum, Governor Aminu Tambuwal of Sokoto State, and the governors are also expected to discuss issues relating to the progress of their party, the People's Democratic Party. Our correspondent also gathered that the People's Democratic Party governors are expected to issue a communique at the end of the meeting. Dear viewers, we indeed promise you that as soon as the governors release the communique at the end of the meeting, we are going to present it to you for your informative pleasure. Do stay tuned to our TV channel at DJM TV for a broadcast of the People's Democratic Party PDP Governors Forum's meeting as they release their communique. Similarly, a gala night party was hosted for the People's Democratic Party's governors last night by the host of the meeting and governor of Oyo State, Governor Sheyi Makinde, where there were drama presentations displaying the state of the nation at this time. Moving on, no fewer than six vehicles were burnt down as old lumps attacked the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC office in Enugu State. The attack was reported to have happened last night. In a statement released today by the National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voters Education Committee, Mr. Festus Okoye, he described the attack as unfortunate. He also stated that the unidentified attackers set the building on fire and vandalized some offices in the building. The Independent National Electoral Commissioner stated that the regular attacks on the Commission's facilities points to a great danger for the country's electoral activities. He also disclosed that the Commission will hold an emergency meeting with the President Electoral Commissioners on Wednesday. Here's the statement as released by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC Chairman on Information and Voters Education. Last night, Sunday 16th May 2021, the Resident Electoral Commissioner, REC for Enugu State, Mr. Emeka Onona Madu, reported an attack on the state headquarters office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC in Enugu. Some unidentified persons overpowered the security guard on duty at about 9 p.m. and tried to set the entire building on fire. The attention of the security agencies as well as the federal and state fire services in Enugu were drawn to the unfolding situation and they responded swiftly. The attackers set the foliage ablaze, vandalized some offices in the main building and caused extensive damage to some of the commission's movable assets within the premises. Six utility pickup vehicles, ELOS, were burnt while two others were smashed and badly damaged. The security agencies who were at the scene have commenced an investigation as we categorically maintained in an earlier statement. The spate of attack on the Commission's facilities portend danger to the national electoral activities. The Commission is holding an emergency meeting with the resident electoral commissioners on Wednesday the 19th of May 2021 and further statement will be released ahead of another emergency meeting with heads of all security agencies in the country under the auspices of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security, ICCES. Recall that several INEC offices have been attacked by unlums and many of them and their properties burnt down. Several political watchers and analysts are of the opinion that the constant attack on INEC facilities is not unconnected with the 2023 presidential elections. With that report, 
we have come to the end of our news update for this time. Thank you for your time with us. Please don't forget to share, like and comment on all our videos. Follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and on www.djmtv.news. I am Stanley Okocha for DJM TV News. DJ TV. DJ TV.